G'day ladies and gentle tubers. I thought I'd do a quick run through on how I use my post hole auger, starting with attaching it to the tractor and digging a couple of holes. The attachment itself is a very awkward, odd to handle and annoying thing to install, but luckily we only end up building fences once every so often, so it's a little bit of pain for a lot of ease later. I like to begin by attaching the top link of the three point linkage followed by the two sides so it doesn't swing over and fall on top of me as I'm working. I guess the key here is to position the auger properly before you start so that you're not jiggling it around as you're installing the pins. And it's also much easier standing on the left hand side of the tractor rather than me standing on the right hand side here for the camera shot. I'd like you to also notice that with my setup I have a compact tractor so the top pin on the cross brace for the auger is in the top position or the position closest to the tractor. This allows the auger to be raised higher allowing more clearance as you're driving down the road. I don't use any quick attachments for the three point or for the PTO takeoff as I really don't see them being necessary unless you're using your tractor for some large commercial application where quick changes are essential. Currently I have my auger set up with the 12 inch bit so I can dig holes for 12 inch sono tube but I'm going to do some fencing today so I'm going to quickly change it out for my 6 inch auger. It's held in place simply with two bolts at the top which are easily accessible thanks to the holes in the guard on this particular make of auger. When I'm doing these bolts I like to have the auger floating just above the ground so it doesn't put too much strain on bolts and won't fall away rapidly once I remove the last bolt, potentially squashing my foot. I also like to use a pin punch to remove the bolts so that I don't damage the end of the threads with a hammer. Then once the bolts are removed, I simply raise the hydraulics and release the auger. The new auger is much lighter and easier to install. As you can see I rotate the gearbox forward to allow room to raise the auger into place and then simply reattach the auger in the reverse order of the way I detached the last auger. I talk these bolts up reasonably firm but they are on spring washers and I am tightening onto tube steel so I don't want to tighten it to the point where it deforms the metal and potentially makes the job more difficult in the future. This is also a good opportunity to make sure all of the grease nipples are greased and your gearbox has sufficient oil in it. I have pre-strung and marked out 8 foot centers on these post hole positions. I have 15 posts to go in along this front boundary but I will only show you the first one so you don't have to sit through an hour of video. I like to keep my tractor gearbox set in mid range for post hole digging. This allows for speedy operation as well as helps me manipulate the position of the auger as it's drilling the hole. Once the auger is set in position. I lower the auger far enough to be firmly in the ground but not so far that the auger starts to lean to one side or the other. This is when I apply the clutch and engage the PTO. I then slowly lower the auger into the ground about 6 inches before adjusting its position to make sure it's as close to straight up and down and left and right as possible. And this is where safety becomes a key thing. Using an auger on a tractor is a one man job. Do not have anybody anywhere near the auger trying to tell you whether it's straight, 
at the end of the day, if the hole is not 100% straight or exactly where it needs to be, you can always dig it out a little bit with a crowbar and a post hole shovel. You cannot reattach the severed arm of your family member or friend that has just slapped you across the face as it's torn away from the torso of your mate. It doesn't matter how good an operator you are, it's only a split second and PTOs do not stop instantaneously and they're not like a modern car where they'll beep and reverse if something comes in contact with them that they think is human. So please, please do not have anybody anywhere near the tractor while you're digging post holes. So for fine adjustment, as you get used to using your tractor, you will very quickly become expert at aligning your auger using forward or backwards and very tight lock left and right to position the auger bit exactly where you need it. Also when it comes to clearing the dirt out of the holes you will find that that changes depending on your soil type and its moisture content. I am in the northwest where the glacial till soil is very sandy so I find that extracting the auger as it's still spinning is the best way to clear the soil from the bottom of the hole. Again though, it is pretty much always necessary to clear the bottom of the hole with a post hole shovel if you want a perfectly clean hole. So for those considering buying a three point auger for their tractor or trying to justify the purchase, these things are brilliant and they save loads of time. I dug all 15 holes for this front boundary in under one hour. So please, if you've got any questions, please fire away in the comments below. I pride myself in responding as quickly as possible. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching me on Build, Grow, Play.